Hello, welcome. This will be my October update for the Deck of Penning project. This project was created by Emily and Max. I will link her intro video below so you can go check out that video if you're interested in participating. I was able to reach my goals on some of the products. I will go ahead and show you the products that I have already in the project, then I will go ahead and roll in whatever the next prompts are. Products that I have not reached my goals on. The first one is the Divina Cosmetics eyeshadow in No Comes, and this is what it looks like. My goal for this was to hit pan. I have used it a few times. The looks I created, I used the shadow at more of an accent shadow because of its iridescent neon fluorescent look to it. Although it looks white in the pan, it's a blue, purple, vibrant neon <laughs> shade. So I will include some photos that I, of looks that I created using this shadow. So I have not hit pan in that. The next one is the Wet n Wild Finishing Powder. My goal in this was to use it up. I have used a significantly major pan. I had pan in it the last update, but I've expanded the pan. And I think that I will be done with this powder, hopefully by the end of this year. I don't think I'll be done with it by the next update. This is a very loosely packed powder, a lot of kick up, so I foresee myself using it, using it up and reaching my goal by the end of this year. The next one I reach my goal in is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Eyewear in Sunflower. My goal was to use it up where you don't see the product when I wind it down. So this is what it will look like if a little bit was showing. But when I wind it all the way down, not much. There's nothing showing, and that was my goal. Used it up. Um, something I started using it for that I am really enjoying is using it as my lower waterline shade. I will try it and also include photos. I don't like it as a lid shade. I don't like how it looks on my lids. I enjoy it as an inner corner shade and the lower waterline. The next thing I have is the Guerlain Meteorites Pressed in Golden. And this is what it looks like. My goal was to use it 20 times. I do believe there were times when I forgot to keep count. But since I didn't keep count, I'm just going to count the ones I remember to count. So I remember marking it off 12 times. And I thought this would be easy for me to reach for, but apparently not. Discovering many things about myself and the makeup products I own and how I like to use them. Use this 12 times. So I have eight more times to use it before I reach my goal. I used it a lot as a blush. A few times I did use these shades in combination, separate or all three, as a finishing powder, maybe under eye brightener. This shade has some shimmer to it, nothing major, but a little light luminosity to it, barely there. It's one of those shades you don't notice unless it's in direct sunlight or you flash a light onto it. But that shade in particular I used as a face highlight some days, maybe one or two times. Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. This is the mini size. My goal was to hit pan. I'm recording this Monday. Hopefully I edit and upload this today. Um, but I hit pen this past Friday. I I had pen in it unknowingly, and on Friday when I opened it to use it, 
I noticed a little pen so since I noticed it on Friday I'm considering Friday as the day I hit pen sometimes I don't really look in the product I just throw my brush and apply as I go but I'm so happy that I reached my goal in this and behind the scenes I will continue to use this to use it up really enjoy this bronzer I had I had it in my everyday makeup basket and I used it every single day except for maybe two one or two times one for sure one day for sure I reached into my beauty capsule and used the VB beauty bronzer and then I remember there were a few times that I wanted to use a different bronzer then I thought to myself no stick with this I need to reach my goal I have a goal to reach on this bronzer and I'm excited that I did so at least once or twice I used a different bronzer since this was rolled in last month I'm excited that I reached my goal in this and I'll continue to use it behind the scenes the last product that I used up reached my goal in and I think you and I if you watched the last update knew that this would be I would complete this goal reach this goal it's using up my replica by the fireplace fragrance I had a little bit left I think I used it three or four times to use it up really enjoyed this fragrance oh it smells I love the woodsy bonfire scent to this smoky yes that's the word grounding smoky earthy I plan to repurchase this fragrance during the Sephora Savings event. So reached my goal on three of the six products from last update. So I'll go ahead and draw three cards to roll in products for this month. of clubs and the prompt for that is gifted so for the gifted is either someone gave you a gift you received it in PR or it was a free gift with purchase so I decided to roll in this product this is the RMS Beauty legendary lip oil in L this was gifted to me by the brand really enjoy it I applied it right before this video just to have something on my lips before I start recording I have two of these and I have a shorts where I actually apply both so you can see what they look like on me I will link it somewhere in the cards for you to see but my goal for this I think I'm going to I don't like putting number goals because since I'm not used to keeping count of my usage with some products it's hard for me to do so it's not part of my routine to use a product and then mark it unless it's right there usually for eyeshadows I have a sticker right when I open the eyeshadow palette and that's a visual reminder of oh let me mark off the shades I used so for this, I think I can easily use it five times if it's in my beauty basket. So I'll say five times. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe saying just use it at least once before the next update. That would be a no brainer. <laughs> but I'll say five because I think I can reach that goal since it's in my beauty basket. Um, it's something that I know that perhaps each time I apply, I get ready. I can apply it as a moisturizer on my lips while getting ready, then apply whatever lip shade I want after or use reapply it as well. 
The next one is Seven of Hearts, and the prompt for it is Collecting Cobwebs, Isa Maya Lip Black in Black Veil. I have used up one of this before. My first ever one, really enjoy it, and was applying it a lot, using it a lot. And then I repurchased because of my love for it, and then it fell to the wayside. I probably use this a handful of times and just it's been there staring at me and I'm staring back so I don't know how much is in here but so I don't want to put a count on it either so I think what I'm going to do is just use, use it as much as I can and get it to half the tube, half the tube, whatever half is, there's some <laughs> air in there or some space, window in, that's the word, window in, in it. I think what I would do because I store it laying like this, so some of the products shifted. I would try, I will store it laying, um, sitting up, so I can see exactly how much is in it. I will insert a photo to show you the original, what it looks like after it settles down. And then I will have a marker on it, another photo attached here, or right here, <laughs> that shows you where I plan to use it all the way too. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. So first photo will be my starting point after it's settled and the second photo or perhaps I'll do a collage will be what my goal would be for it. The last card I drew is Six of Spades and the prompt is Copycat. That one I had to go look and see what that meant because I've never gotten that prompt ever since participating in this project. So I looked it up and it says panning the same thing someone else is panning. So I went to Joe's makeup journey and I watched her deck of panning. One of her prompts she chose the Auric Glow Lost. And I decided to do so because recently I pulled it out and started using it again. And I want to continue to use it. So I pulled out mine. Uh, mine is in gold stone. This is my copycat prompt. And I'm, copy, I'm copying Jill's makeup journey. I will link her channel and her deck of panning video below so you can go check her out if you're interested. My goal for this, my goal, what's my goal? <laughs> Again, do not want to put a count or have too many products with counts. So my goal will be just use it as much as I can before the next update. And since it's in my daily makeup basket, I don't think that will be hard to do because I've been mixing it with my concealer from my under eye or have been using it on its own. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, if you have not subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next video.